Today in studio, we're joined by Carrie Cowenhoffen with Genesis House. Carrie, how are you today? I'm doing great. It's International Women's Day. It is International Women's Day today, and it is International Women's Week, I guess you could say, which is why you're holding the the event that you are coming up this Saturday. Tell us about it. Yes, it is our South Central Women's Health Expo. It's the first time Genesis House has ever done something like this, um, and we wanted to plan it the week of International Women's Day to celebrate women and to be able to uh, provide free access to education that that would empower women. When and where is it happening? It is happening in Morden at the Morden Access Event Centre. The presentations start at 9 and they're every hour with the last presentation at 1 o'clock and so people can come for one uh, talk, two for the day. There's also some community booths that will be around that people can visit. Uh, and it's free. Did I say it's free? <laughs> <laughs> it is free and uh, the people who are, are stopping by there and doing the presentations and booths, they've also donated their time. A lot of them have donated their time. We also got a very generous sponsorship from AbbVie Pharmaceuticals. The people that are there are invested in women and want to support um, support women. So they are there and passionate about their their, their topic. Absolutely. Talk about some of the people who will be presenting and some of the booths that will be there. Well, we've got uh, Gladys Rempel. Now, I don't speak German or low German, but uh, she will be doing her full presentation in low German, talking about your worth. Uh, we've got uh, Ashley Fraze for um, childbirth and the pelvic floor. Julia Stace is a certified professional counselor talking about uh, stress and the trauma-informed response. And then we also have a guest speaker from Winnipeg who is a gynecologist who um, works with pelvic pain and endometriosis, and he will be uh, zooming in for that. And uh, then a couple of our local physicians as well. Perfect. Uh, Carrie, this is the first time that Genesis House is putting on an event like this. Why is it so important to, to you and the people at Genesis House to, to put this on? The women that walk through our doors, a lot of them um, cannot make their own decisions. They are told what to do, they're controlled. And so the more we know about our bodies, the more empowered we are. So that is a lot of where this kind of came from. And we also noticed that there was a lot of gaps in healthcare. And now our physicians are doing the best that they can with what they have. Um, but our bodies have gone through a lot. If we've had children, if we've had endometriosis. And so to be able to have access to some of these topics um, was very important. It's a lot about knowledge and you kind of said before, having that knowledge is power. Yes. And empowering. Yes. Do you think people could make this kind of a, a girls' day out kind of thing? Oh, I think that would be great. And you can win prizes. Some of the booths have prizes. I know Genesis House has two of them that were donated. And so come and uh, bring all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> bring all the ladies. Even a, a light fair is uh, is available as well if people yeah. get a little bit snacky. Yeah, a grab a coffee energy. and there's some pastry and uh, take in some, some education. Why should somebody come out to this free event on uh, on Saturday? Well, when I look at the, the topics and the people that we have brought in, uh, in order to hear some of them speak, it takes a lot of money, it takes referrals, it is time and wait lists. And uh, the individuals that are coming are coming because they have a heart for women. And so even just to be able to get that access to free education, um, I think is phenomenal. Where can people find more information? Uh, they can go to our website, which is genesishouseshelter.ca and on our socials, Instagram and Facebook.